So the 106th running of this championship. Hussey straight to the lead. He won it last year. He'd like to be the first one back to back since the 1980s. Since the great Mike Hillart. It is a championship race. We can see Huffer now deciding he wants a piece of the action out front. Lockie Heard going with him. Hussey content to sit back. It looks like Bysh is going forward as well. Or is that Bowers? I think it's Bowers actually. So Hussey sitting in third, the white strip of Huffer. He'd love to have a Victorian Mile Championship to his name and join those legends. But Hussey's saying, yeah, no, I want to be up there too early. So the pace, not fast, not slow. It's solid as they start to go out to a straight line. So Huffer leading the way. No pacemakers. This is all about racing. This is a championship. This is what we want to see. Blood on the line here, guys. This is for a Victorian Championship, the most historic of the Victorian Championships. It is the mile as they go through right on the 60-second mark. So we're looking around that low four-minute pace at the moment. Race in two. Gap then to Hurd. Bysher in next... Uh, sorry, Bowers, Bysher. And then it is Goddard in next position. So Dale then content to slip back. Alexander Angus in the next slot. But, gee, already... As we go through, just over the 500 metre mark, it is Huffer and Hussey going stride for stride. Conditions, track side, absolutely perfect for fast running. So often at this championship we've been frustrated by slow early laps, but that's not happening tonight as Huffer is setting that beautiful 60 second pace as they're going through to approach two laps to go. So Craig Huffer in the Wellington Strip, the historic Wellington Strip. Hussey would love to get two titles. We haven't had three in a row since the great Graham Crouch back in the 1970s. Would Huss love to have that? So the pace still on. They're running a decent clip out front. Nice gap then to Bowers. Also Goddard, Beicher up there as well. Dale, Heard sitting in that pack. That's battle for the bronze medal because gold and silver looks like they're running away from the field. They're up by 35 metres into the third lap. So let's get crowd involvement back and front of this mile championship. Since 1892, with a few gaps in the 80s and 90s, this has been one of the most historic races ever run. Remember Landy at Olympic Park, what a race that was. One of the first ever sub fours in the world set in this championship. Dual record holders, 356.7, Luke Matthews and Graham Crouch. Let's get behind them. They're coming through to get one lap to go. Will we see them crank down to the sub four? It's going to be close. 303 as they go through. So a little bit of clipping going on there. Hussey right on the hammer there. Dale coming through next. Also up there is Baisha. Goddard sitting in the box there at the moment. Bowers to the outside, and we see Angus also moving nicely. But out front, the Huss has taken the lead. A little bit of clipping. I know Huffer wasn't happy about that. Will he get the adrenaline surging down the back straight? Can Hussey go back to back? We haven't seen it since the 80s. So will the Western A's crowd absolutely go ballistic now as they see their man? I think it's going to happen. Let's get him charging for that four-minute time. 3.41 as he comes around. Probably just outside the four, but the Huss has really given it to them today. Great display of championship running. Matt Hussey, two in a row, Victorian Mile Championship. Let's get behind the man, the 106 running of this event. And Matt Hussey, Goddard coming through, looking to get that bronze medal. And he probably will. Big battle there, but the Huss will take it. Huffer in second, 405, Goddard third. Baisha gets bronze in the championship. And then Dale Brave running as we see Paddy Matthews coming through, Hadfield, Dave Gregg, Nami Kotra Namisi once again gave it everything and Baisha just coming over the top. So great running there, the men's mile championship. Would have been an absolute kick as a fair and you'd probably back Hussey in the kick no matter where he is. Check but out the strength of Hussey look trying to straight. He doesn't go double Cobra, not that ambitious, didn't want to be the copycat but the double fingers twirly time. <laughs> Love it. That is, Love that. I've never seen that before. Love that for Hussey. So Hussey back to back. <laughs> back to back, baby. And will we see a back to back to back next year? Can't I wait to know. see what we'll, he's got in we'll, store. We'll be hearing it for the next year anyway. Oh, yeah. 
the Husk Dog. 4.05.32 is what stopped the clock there. As the Western Athletics group chat just goes wild. Yeah. It starts to blow up now. I can see your phone going 